Hey everyone, Demonite here, and in this video I got a build for Maya in Borderlands 2 for you guys, and this build is called the Queen Bee, and as the name already tells you, this build is focused around the bee shield. Um, now this build right here isn't exactly something new I came up with or anything, um, I've actually seen people use this before and make videos about it, but it was back on level 50 and I actually haven't seen any OP8 versions of this build here. Um, I'm sure there are some because this was pretty popular at some point, um, but this is just my version of this build I suppose. Um, but anyway, as I said, this build is focused around the B shield and also focused around Maya's skill kinetic reflection right here. Um, and at 10 out of 5 or 11 out of 5, the skill becomes pretty special. But I'll get to that um, when I talk about these skills. Um, so for the weapons here, you can pretty much use anything that works well with the B shield. Um, so I have the Becca, the Sandhawk, the Pimpernel and the Lady Fist here. And since I'm using a Trickster.com, um, you can also go for weapons which work well with um, Chain Reaction. So these three right here work pretty well with Chain Reaction, the Lady Fist not so much, but it just works really great with the B-Shield, so that's why I use it on here. Um, then obviously the B-Shield, the Quasar for grouping enemies up, um, but I mainly use this if my um, kill skills aren't active and I want to distract enemies and stun them for a while to kill them so they don't shoot at me um, to keep my B-Shield up. Um, and then a Bone of the Ancients, and I recommend this relic because of the cooldown rate, because um, more face lock means less enemies shooting at you, which means more B shield and um, some easy kill skills, um, but of course also because of the multiplicative damage. Um, so going over the skills here, um, Kinetic Reflection right here. Um, now this skill, as you can see here, at 11 out of 5 gives you a damage reduction of 110%. And what that means is that any enemy that shoots at you with a normal weapon um, actually won't deal any damage to you. Um, because the damage reduction is above 100%. And the 10% there actually mean that 10% of the enemy's damage will recharge your shield. Um, now the reason why I went with a com that has 11 out of 5 here and not with a purple com that boosts um, life tap is um, well mainly that life tap already is pretty huge at 6% and with these weapons right here combined with the B shield you really don't need much more than 6% um, but also because um, you kinda need those extra 10% to recharge your shield because um, if an enemy is shooting at you and you only have 100% damage reduction, that means you won't get any damage from those shots, but you're still being shot at and you're still getting hit and that every time you're getting hit, um, your shield recharge delay will be reset, so um, you kinda can't get your shield back up without those 10% except for inertia right here, which is another pretty important skill. Um, because of the extra shield regeneration here, and I kind of want to put more points into here, but converge is kind of important, and you can't really take so, uh, a point from somewhere else, so I only have it at 4 out of 5, but yeah, it's still worth it, because of the shield recharge um, on a kill, and these two skills here are pretty much the only thing that are going to keep your shield up while you're being shot at. Um, then over here all the way down to Scorn, because Scorn is just awesome on this build, because you can um, just throw out Scorn and slag things if your face lock is on cooldown, which makes for easier kill skills, or which makes it easier to keep your kill skills up rather, and the Cataclysm tree here is pretty obvious. Um, so I'm at Magni's Lighthouse right here, because this is a pretty bullet heavy map. And as you can probably already imagine, um, this build works the best on maps with enemies with a lot of guns. Um, but the weakness to this build obviously is any attack that isn't a bullet, um, including splash damage and damage over time from certain um, weapons enemies use. 
Um, but as you can see right here, um, enemies are shooting at me and actually not dealing any damage. So that's the strength of this build. But you kind of want to watch out for anything that isn't a bullet or any bullet that has some type of element. Or whatever hit me there. Um, because pretty much anything can put you at health gate because the survivability of this build really depends on you having your kill skills up. Um, but yeah, as you could see there, it's pretty effective. Just waiting for that to explode. Um, so let's use the Sandhawk here a bit. Obviously the Sandhawk is really great with the B. Okay. Not sure why I couldn't hit that enemy enemy right there. All right, there we go. Um, so we got some stalkers over here, so for these guys I'm gonna use the backer. And that's a rabbit stalker, I should have face locked that one. Okay, so yeah, as you can see here, um, it's pretty hard keeping the shield up um, with enemies that don't shoot bullets at you. And without your kill skills, obviously. And uh, pretty much the only way to get your health back with this is life tap because I'm not using anything else that um, that would heal me except for elated maybe and sustenance or sustenance if I pronounce it correctly I have no idea um, but yeah life tap is pretty much the main thing here and that's a torque shotgun which just took down my shield Alright. As you can see there, the damage numbers with the Lady Fist and AB Shield are just pretty insane. Um, so that's why I'm using this on this build. It's not that great for Chain Reaction, but sometimes you can get um, Chain Reaction to crit an enemy. And if that happens, this is obviously pretty devastating, because this weapon can one-shot most things um, with just the B alone. Okay, so this area here should be pretty interesting. Um, let's get that over here.
because you can get three kill skills from there, which is kind of stupid. Ah, that that was a nice example right there. Chain reaction just critted that enemy, and he instantly died. And that's a Mali one sniper, so I want to watch out for that. Yep, and something with splash damage hit me there. And that's another torque weapon. So that's bad. So as you can see this um this build is really effective. Um because it's just so easy to keep the B shield up against enemies with guns. And melee enemies aren't really a problem with the B anyway. Um but really the main downside to to this build is the survivability because um, as I said, anything that isn't a bullet um, can pretty much health get you in one or two hits. Um, so that's something to watch out for and this was a pretty bullet heavy map. Um, if it was a map with, um, for example in the Tina DLC with mages and stuff where nothing really is a bullet. Um, or against loaders where a lot of loaders don't actually use guns but something else. Um, this wouldn't nearly perform as good because it's just not that um, not that easy to keep your B up and you're gonna get health gated a lot. Um, but yeah, for maps like this, this build is really awesome and I kinda enjoy playing it. Um, yeah, but anyway guys, um, here's my equipment and my spec again. And of course, no bar. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching and see ya!